Hello there, my name is Casper Johansson and I'm your personal YouTube philosopher. Come over here. This is the house where Søren Kierkegaard died back in 1855. It's just right here on this sign. This is actually the house where he died. And over here, this used to be a hospital. And now, it's an art museum. Welcome. This video here is about Soren Kierkegaard's different personality types. Life stages, he called them. The life stages are the bourgeois, or you can call it uh, the philistine. Then there's the aesthetic, and there's the ethic, and there's the, the religious person. And the religious person has two kinds of, a religious A and a religious B. Kierkegaard's life stages, you can uh, jump from one life stage to another. You don't have to follow them in a correct order. You can uh, go back and forth between the different life stages. But the time has come to meet these uh, personality types, Kierkegaard's life stages. And let's meet the first one, uh, the bourgeois, or, or you can call it the philistine. Hello, I'm a philistine. I do what I always have been doing. I don't know, I'm, I'm interested in, in having a, a, a smooth, a cozy time. I want a cake with my coffee because I usually have cake with my coffee. That's what I've always been doing. That's, that's the way it's, it's done. I don't like to set myself apart from, uh, from, from the majority. I want to live a nice, regular, a normal life. I want to ha I want to be married, have kids, have pets, have a car, because that's kind of what you you should be doing, right? Uh, I don't like all this uh, modern nonsense sense. Things are best left if we we do the things that the way we've always been doing things. I have no interest in uh, philosophy. Why should I interest, be interested in philosophy? I just uh, believe in God, and that makes sense, doesn't it? You have to believe in God, that's what one does, right? The Philistine, or the bourgeois, doesn't really notice that it has choices. It doesn't really see the choice. It has a motto, one. One should be doing this, one one have, should be doing that, one shouldn't be doing this. It's all about uh, following the mainstream. The Philistine lives in a kind of pointless uh, conformity. It uh, just uh, follows uh, the, what the majority is doing. It's kind of like a zombie. It's a uh, for tradition. It doesn't. The Philistine doesn't like uh, when things, or all that modern things, the, the new things, uh, the strange things, the, the unknown things. The Philistine tries to live a kind of static existence, a kind of, uh, and has a very static worldview. The Philistine doesn't want to set itself apart from the majority. It wants uh, what the majority wants. The Philistine is the is kind of the the mob. It's just a it's just a zombie existence that dulls its way uh, through life. It's time to meet the aesthetic. Hello, I'm an aesthetic. I love all the. I love pleasure and beauty. It's about me. I love everything that's new and exciting. 
I love the pleasure. I love the beauty. I love art. I like love concerts. I love theater. I love film. I love to travel. I like to have sex. I like to try something new and different each time. I want more and more. Lots of uh, experiences. There has to happen something new all the time. Why should I marry? Why should I just live with one person the rest of my life? Why should I have sex with the same person the rest of my life? Oh. Why am I so confused all the time? Why can't I be satisfied? Why can't I just be satisfied and happy with my life? The aesthetic has seen that it has a choice, but it doesn't make any real choice according to Kierkegaard. It tries to, uh, it's a person that lives in the now and it would always try to run from an existence through uh, carelessness and, uh, and, and buying things. It's a, a true uh, enjoyer, enjoyer of life. It's kind of almost manual depressive. It doesn't, it doesn't want e an ethical responsibility. It wants to choose between that of this, the aesthetic feel, feels emptiness in life. The aesthetic thinks it can escape the emptiness it has inside through pleasures. The aesthetic lifestyle will always end in, uh, in despair and depression according to Kierkegaard because the aesthetic at some point cannot fill the emptiness with pleasure anymore. The aesthetic can be very fresh in, its, uh, in, in the way it lives, kind of like the young person. When a woman is conquered, she loses all interest to the aesthetic, because now he ha has had her. The aesthetic is uh, afraid of losing its possessions. It loves to own things. It's about status symbols. If uh, an aesthetic loses his cool and smart car, the aesthetic is devastated. If you want to know more about Kierkegaard's personality types, life stages, watch the next video.